Compared to the new Age of Sigmar Uruk sculpts, Games Workshop's Orc line is beginning to look really dated. Their boys and knobs weirdly proportioned and awkwardly posed. But what if there was a way to combine the two, to bring Orcs into the grim darkness of the 41st century? To try it out, I bought a box of Orc Brutes to convert into some knobs. Though knobs were my goal, the same process could largely work for boys, ludas, and mega knobs. For the first Uruk conversion, I started with this snarling fellow. Swapping out the brute heads for knob ones would be one of the easiest ways to make the brutes look orky, but a lot of orc heads are kind of dumb looking to me and the brute ones are a big upgrade, snarling and brutal and feral. Besides their heads, I wasn't quite sure how much of the original Uruks I wanted to keep in place. I did know though I wanted to replace all of their weapons. I started the process by snipping off the head of his axe. I was planning on replacing it with this knob chain axe, but it was a touch too oversized, so I instead swapped it for this smaller boy one, which glued into place cleanly. This is the pistol to an orc boy. While I like the aspect of the brute holding the dismembered head, and even thought for a hot minute about replacing it with a space marine helmet, I decided to instead replace it with the pistol. The original fist isn't at the right angle, and the one holding the pistol is from the wrong side, but after some snipping and gluing, the hand came together. It's an awkward fit between the two, but I'd hide the seam later with the greeble. While the first conversion went well, this second one is where I hit my stride. Where in the first one I could just swap out the weapon heads, the big two-handed choppa of the brute wouldn't allow that. Cutting the choppa away just to leave the hands would have been too much work, so I instead decided to swap them out for a pair of knob ones holding a chain axe. This was a bit tricky, as while the brutes are roughly the same height as a knob, they're very differently proportioned in their anatomy, less cartoonish in a lot of ways. Their heads are smaller, their arms thicker, and they don't have the Nicki Minaj butt jutting out stance. You can kind of see it here, where the knob's arms holding the chain axe look a bit undersized in width, but they still fit pretty well. I proceeded to take off his arms, and while they were off, snipped down some of his toothed gorget. Later I'd go in and cut it off almost completely, on both him and the rest of the brutes. They're an element of their design I don't love, they're just a little too scavenged and slapdash to me. I also started adding various knives, pouches, and pistols to the brute. I learned of my Mega Boss to War Boss conversion that they're a good way of modernizing the medieval look while also covering blank spaces. I did this to all the brutes, though this is the only time I show it. The knob arms are too widely spaced for the brute body, so I mixed green stuff and used them to fill in the gap. Before that though, I shaved down the rest of his gorget and replaced it with this knob jaw plate. They're a good way of modernizing his silhouette and giving him a more aggressive feel. All those alterations made, I finally put his new arms into place. I replaced the back plate, but as I did, realized I didn't like the pauldrons. They kind of just looked too big and took away from his roided out and muscled look. To hide the green stuff, I replaced the pauldrons with those of a knob, which maintained his sleeveless silhouette. A lot of orc armor looks like discount Mad Max gear to me, but their shoulder plates are nicely metal and complement the brute's original armor. I liked how this looked so much, I went back and replaced the pauldrons of the first orc with those of a knob, and proceeded to do it with all the remaining brutes. For brute number 3, I decided to use two of my favorite weapons, the knob bionic buzzsaw arm and the luda twin barreled shooter. He was by far the easiest of the brutes to convert, and I largely just applied what I had learned from the first two. I shaved down his tooth gorget, used green stuff to fit his limbs on, and outfitted him with an assortment of pouches and gear. Brute number 4 had from the outset one major issue that needed to be fixed. He needed some shoes. Before I could get to that though, I decided to try and make him taller. I have a bad habit of enlarging essentially every orc project I start, and honestly it's a miracle I got to this stage without trying it on one of the other brutes. For expanding him, I sawed off his waist and slotted in a sheet of PVC plastic. This leaves a gap in armor between the girdle and breastplate, but shifting the breastplate down closes it, and the gap left above I filled with a knob jaw plate. This gives him a really cool, aggressive look. For his feet, I sawed off these from a knob and glued them in pretty cleanly. I don't love the moccasin look they have, but they're better than his splayed, open bare feet. You can't see it well here, but they also give him a more charging forward motion than he had originally. I also gave him for the right arm an appropriately huge shooter, though it took a ball of green stuff to fit it in place. You can see here how lengthening him made him a touch taller than the normal Uruks. It's not a lot, but it gives him a bit less of a squat look. I liked how much it looked that I went back and expanded the three other brutes using the same technique. The left arm of this brute gave me a lot of trouble. This is the knife from an ogren that I had the idea of giving him to hold on a backhand. This looked good until I attached the arm and realized the blade was too huge for the orc, though you can't really see it here. I tried swapping it for the harpoon from a knob bionic arm, but that was too skinny. My third try was to switch his arm to a simple choppa, but that looked kind of dumb too, a little goofy in the way orcs can sometimes. Finally, I settled on giving him this grenade, which works well, if not perfect. And with that, my knob squad was ready for combat. 
I think they hit a really nice middle ground between keeping a lot of the original sculpt's detail and not looking too medieval or simply like fantasy orcs with guns. With only 5 brutes to a box, this is too expensive a conversion to make for regular boys, but for a knobs or mega knobs I think it would be doable. But enough from me, what did you all think of them? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I've also recently launched a Patreon, so go check that out if you want to contribute to the channel and get a say in what I convert next. Thanks for watching.